Mawlana Jalaluddin Rumi says, The breeze at dawn has secrets to tell you. Don't go back to sleep. You must ask for what you really want. Don't go back to sleep. People are going back and forth across the door sill. The door is round and open. Don't go back to sleep. I would love to kiss you. The price of kissing is your life. Now, my loving is running towards my life shouting. What a bargain. Let's buy it. One has to be a seeker. But before becoming a seeker, one has to become a lover. You cannot become a lover if you have filled of worldly attachments. World is here in front of us to give us experiential knowledge, understanding, that it is changeable, transient entity. Laugh, sing, dance, make love, have children, create houses, money and power. And yet in a moment, death snatches everything and leaves you shivering, shaking in fear and ultimately drowning in unconsciousness. It is not possible to taste the divine wine of love if you haven't met a sheikh, a mystic. One has to become a neigh, a reed flute. One has to become empty, hollow. Then all the poetry, and all the music will come through you. This divine love occupies heart and mind and then all universe seems as if it is just the beloved peeping to us from behind the sun, behind the stars and moon, flowers and trees, man and woman, children and old. Once this divine love makes its roots in the heart person gets overwhelmed, drenched in this beautiful experience where the mind goes into the zone of silence. The whole universe then exhibits the divine dance of love. One who has surrendered to the Lord is called a Sufi. And Sufi sings the zikr. La ilaha illallah. There is no reality but God. There is only God. Zikr has three parts. The first is the denial of everything visible. Second is the explosion into the individual. And the third part is the outbreathing of divine presence. Who? Sufi sings who? That which is, that which was, that which will be. World 
becomes nothing more than an image stitched with gold thread on the tapestry, just a playful addition. Drunk in love, the lover calls out in longingness to the one who resides in the heart, but still seems so far. Nobody wishes a heaven if the price is death. Nobody will wish for immortality if the cost is death. But this is what love is, death. But from this arises the resurrection of new you, pure, virgin, loveful. And now the calls of the heart get answered. Until the ego is alive, there is no possibility of love to happen. When darkness of ego is blown away with longingness, urgency, search of the truth, this becomes possible. For Jalaluddin Rumi, it happened when Shams Tabrizi arrived and stole his heart and mind. And then the love occupied this vacuum. Once someone asked Shams, whose head was full of ideas and desires, he said, Tell me about divine mystery. Shams said, I can tell you the mystery. I can tell this mystery only to someone in whom I can see myself. This mystery I will tell only to myself. I don't see myself in you. I see someone else. The mind has to be emptied of all attachments, greed, passion, darkness. And for this the teacher, the sheikh, has to hit lovefully until the mind is shattered. The existence of the beloved cannot be proven physically, nor it is a fantasy. This presence at best have been given many many names in different cultures, yet the presence remains nameless. You may call it Allah, Brahman, reality, truth or any other word, because that is what best a mind can try to do, give the name to the nameless. The Sheikh is a mirror, a reminder of that presence. Understanding of this mystery comes through the Sheikh and it transforms all the energies of the seeker. Rumi said, I have phrases and whole pages memorized but nothing can be told of love. You must wait until you begin to live the love. Be patient, utterly patient. The journey which begins from love towards God. A moment comes in this journey when finally the union happens. All boundaries get dissolved. Then this I is no more different from that. As Al Hilaj Mansur cried out, Anul Haq, I am that, and then total emptiness. I is no more. So who will call whom? Just a vast emptiness, which is best described by Sufis. Who? That which exists. Who means that which was and will be. No word can ever contain the infinitude presence. Once the consciousness arises after this volcanic experience. On asking what happened to you, Sufi says, Who? Oh. 